Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tuber? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your butt. And it's 5.30 in the morning. Just came back from getting some Starbucks. Normally, I, I'd be at work already. I start at 5 a.m., but today I start at 10, so I'll be um, working later today. And um, I already managed to piss off my wife, so I'm making a quiet video right now. <laughs> Um, I took my dogs out for a walk this morning. My body naturally, I still, I woke up like at 3 o'clock this morning. I woke up early, real early. Well, and I got too drunk last night. Yesterday, listening to the Dodger game, I fell asleep early, so I woke up real early. So I decided to take my dogs out for a walk. <laughs> so I have two dogs, a Maltese and like a Maltese mix. And, man, we were far down the street. And it's 3 in the morning, so there's some places where it's dark, you know, in my neighborhood. It's just dark. There's no lights. And we were at one of those places at some house, and my dog went into somebody's yard, and my other dog went into somebody else's yard. You know, they like to go sniff around. Man, one of my dogs, I just couldn't find her. So I'm all, puppy chow, puppy chow. Dude, <laughs> I could not find her. She wouldn't respond. So I got my other dog. She started following me, and I went running around. I started getting louder and louder. This is like 3 in the morning, man. I'm all, puppy chow, puppy chow. <laughs> Man, I could not find her. Walked all the way back home. Didn't see her. Went back. Walked all these other streets. All these other blocks. Could not find her. And then, um, so I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go and get my car. And I'm going to have to drive around and look for her. And as I'm going towards my house, I could see, like, somebody run across the street from my house. And I think it was my neighbor. And so when I get home, Puppy Chow was on the curb, um, right there on my porch, you know, um, so I think my neighbor, I think my neighbor also does the same thing, man. He's retired um, and he walks around the neighborhood like at three in the morning too. So I think my dog saw him, followed him, and then he took her, brought her to the porch and left her there. So, you know, I just told my wife about that, what happened, you know, and this was like at 4.30 in the morning and she was pissed. <laughs> she was pretty mad at me because I lost her for a little while. I mean, she's back home, everything's fine. But yeah, that's just the way it is. Man, I'm over here rambling. Two minutes, I haven't shown a single card. But that's just the way I am. You know, um, I like to take my dogs out. I love my dogs. And I don't like to put them on leashes. So that's why I like to walk them at 3 in the morning where there's nobody out. There's no cars. So 3 in the morning, it's pretty safe and I walk them without leashes. But life happens. You know, so I'm going to show you guys. Um, open up this Mark Adamson. Life happens, you know. Uh, so, I mean... The times that I've walked my dogs, we've been attacked by some pit bulls. Uh, we, uh, my dog, one of my dogs got pretty much mauled up for a little while by a big ass pit bull, man. And one of my dogs got hit by a car. Luckily, it just hit her in the face, and I think it knocked her front teeth out. Um, you know, I lost puppy chow. Uh, oh, and then a couple weeks ago, there's this dog, man. A uh, uh, a German Shepherd that's always been friendly with this and for some reason man my dog got up to her this time and the dog put his head through the fence and just grabbed my dog by the neck and lifted her up in the air and she started crying and I just barely tapped the, the dog in the hand and let her go like I don't think he did it out of malice he just was playful and you know I guess that's the way he played but my dog was has been uh, traumatized ever since then we walked that direction she doesn't, wasn't, she doesn't want to go in that direction so life happens you know so some people might love their dogs to the point where they're always on leashes and they keep them to me like your dog is trapped, you know, and but at the same time, the way I love my dogs where I give them all this freedom and I don't like them tied down, well, life happens. So, so they've been bit, they've been hit by cars. That's life, right? That's life, you know. You want to teach a kid to swim, I just throw them in there. Natural swimmers. Some might think that's cruel, but so anyway. <laughs> I'm talking way too much. I thought this was a baseball card video. But, um, wow. What the hell is all this? Damn, Mark Anderson. So, hey, Pepino! Hope you still need some of the 1979 tops for your set. I also included a few other cards for your PC. Take care. Mark Adams. <laughs> wow. Check out all these. What do you say? He sent 79s, right? So he sent. Yeah, 79. Wow. So. He 
Here's my 79 book. <laughs> now here's my checklist for my 79 set. So I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot of these. So check that out. Just stacks and stacks of 79s. Woo! Man, another stack of 79. And here's a a packet that's not 79, so I'll open that up real quick. So um the 27th of this month, folks, um, let's have a YouTube gathering at my house. I already got a few YouTubers that are going to come to my house Saturday the 27th. So if there's any YouTubers in the area that can make it to my house on the 27th, make it. Okay, we're going to have like a little YouTuber get together and we're just going to go to a bunch of um, card shops. And hopefully they can help me organize some of my cards. <laughs> a little rummage party. Uh, we got this Giancarlo Stanton, a most valuable player, Giancarlo Stanton, uh, Nolan Arenado. Oh, this is a sweet Nolan Arenado. Wow, look at that baby. Another Nolan, oh, the gold label. I love these cards, man. I love gold label. And check out this Alex Verdugo numbered green. Sweet. That's, that's that Kush green too. And so, there's a long ass video with only a little bit of cards. But anyways, I love my dogs. <laughs> uh, 27th, is there anybody going to be around this area, man? Come to my house and join our party, man. And maybe we rent a party bus and we'll go to all these baseball card shops. So love the hobby, people. Keep collecting baseball cards forever, that's it. And thanks, Mark Adamson. Uh, gave me something to do today. Mr. Eddie Murray, there's some cards that are going to join your group today.